Hello everyone, welcome to Laradi Aprap. My name is Samir Sardana and we are discussing chapter 7 of reasoning for SNAP and other NBA entrance exam preparation and we are doing the chapter of clocks. The basic concept of clock has been covered in the previous two videos. I will be discussing the question number 3 which is which says how many times the hands of a clock will be at 30 degree with each other in a day. It's a very important question and a standard question that you will find in exams like SNAP and other NBA entrance exam. Let's understand the concept even though you can just cram the answer of this question but I will be telling you the basic concept behind it. The answer straight away you see any angle whether you talk about a 30 degree angle or you talk about a 45 degree angle of a 30 degree angle or 60 degree angle or 90 degree angle all these all these angles are made for 11 times are, are made for 22 times in a 12 hours period right so in a 12 hour periods all these angles are made for 22 times so the question is asking us for a 24 hour period the answer will be 22 into 2 that is 20 that is 44 times right so the straight away answer of the question is 44 whether the question is for 60 degree answer will still be 44 if the answer is of for 90 degree answer will still be 44 right why it is true let's have a look at it see that in a clock right in a clock uh, if you take any time period for example if i'm talking about the, uh, a time period from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Let's say, let's say the time is 3 p.m., right? And the angle you can see between the hands of the clock at this point of time are 90 degree. Now, when the minute hand will travel an angle of 60 degree, the angle left between the minute hand and the hour hand will be of 30 degree. And also, after traveling a 90 degree angle, when minute hand will travel a 30 degree more angle angle again between the minute hand and the hour hand will be 30 degree in this 30 degree angle the minute hand will be behind the hours hand but in this case the minute hand will be ahead of the hours hand so can i say that from a period of 3 am to 4 am right or 3 pm to 4 pm the angle of 30 degree will be made two times same same thing will happen in the case of 4 am to 5 am also the same angle will be made twice again but you see that right when the time in the when the time in the clock is 11 am when the time in the clock is 11 am when the time in the clock is 11 am you see the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is already at 30 degree right so therefore in the period from 11 a.m to 12 a.m 11 a.m to 12 a.m the angle of 30 degree will be made only once because a 30 degree angle already existed between the minute hand and the hour hand. so from 11 a.m to 12 a.m the angle will be made angle of 30 degree will be made only once when when this complete minute hand will overtake uh, will, when, when the com uh, currently you can see that the angle is 330 degree right uh, in, in the clockwise direction the angle is 330 three degree when the minute hand will travel a distance of 300 degree with a speed of 11 by 2 the angle between the two clocks will be 30 degree so it will be made only once and also if you see that when, when the time in the clock is 1 a.m., when the time in the clock is 1 a.m., the angle between the hands of the clock is already at 30 degree, is already at 30 degree, right? So therefore, from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., this angle will be made only once, not twice, because uh, an angle of 30 degree already existed when the time is 1 a.m. So it will not be made twice, it will be made only once. Right. For every other one hour period, this angle will be made twice. For example, for 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and so on, this angle will be made two times. So in a 12 hours period, there are two such hours where the angle is being made only once and 
there is a 10 hour period where the angle is made twice. So 2 hour period where the angle is made once and 10 hour period for the angle is made twice. The total number of times this angle will be made will be 22. So in a 12 hour period, in a 12 hours period, the angle will be made 22 times. An angle of 30 degree will be made 22 times. So in a 24 hours period, the angle of 30 degree will be made 22 into 2. That is 44 times. That's the answer to the question. And this is option number C. Even if the question is about 60 degree, you see that again the answer will be 44 degree. Reason is, reason is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. period, when the time is 10 a.m., when the time is 10 a.m., in it at 10 a.m. the angle is already at 60 degree. So from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. a 60 degree angle will be made only once. Similarly, 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. angle is at 2 a.m. angle is already at 60 degree. So again the angle of 60 degree will be made once. And for the rest of the 10 hours this angle of 60 degree will be made twice. So total number of times an angle of 60 degree has been made is 22 times, right? So even if you talk about 90 degree, in a 12 hours period, in a 12 hours period, all these angles, whether you talk about 30, 60 or 90, all these angles will be made 22 times and in a 24 hours period, these angles will be made 44 times, right? The question might ask you the angles of angle of 180 degree will be made for how many times? See that angle of 180 degree in a 12 hours period, an angle of 180 degree will be made 11 times. Right. So in a 24 hours period, the angle will be made 11 into 2, that is 22 times. Right. Because the reason is when the time is 6 a.m., when the time is 6 a.m., right, there is already an angle of 180 degree that is existing here. Right. So from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., an angle of 180 degree is made only zero times. It, it is not made because it's already at 180 degree. Right. So, so therefore, out of for every other hour, it will be made once, right? For example, if the time is 3 a.m. at this point of time, when this clock will cover a distance of 270 degree angle, both of the hands will be exactly opposite to each other, right? So in every one hour period, an angle of 180 degree, in every one hour period, an angle of 180 degree is made one time. But from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., right angle is already at 180 degree which was made after 5 a.m. so from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. this angle has already been counted from the period of 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. this will be made zero time so in a 12 hour period in a 12 hour period there are 11 such hours where the angle is made once and one such hour where the angle is made for zero time so total number of time is 11 in a 24 hour period in a 24 hour period this angle will be made 22 times Right? So a 30, 60 and 90 degree angle will be made 22 times in a 12 hours period and a 180 degree angle will be made 11 times in a 12 hour period. So if it is asking for the whole day, just make it double. Right? So in the case of 30, 60, 90, the answer become 22 into 2 that is 44. In case of 180 degree angle, answer become 11 into 2 that is 22. That's all concept behind this type of question and you can expect this type of question in uh, snap exam thank you so much for watching this video i'll be discussing some more questions on the gaining and the losing of a time uh, in the next part of the video to cover the complete concept of clock and on unacademy plus i'll be launching some courses for cat 2021 in the month of january you can subscribe to unacademy plus using my referral code LRDSME and you will be able to attend all of my courses on arithmetic without formulas, algebra and geometry and my referral code is LRDSME that you can use to purchase the iconic membership on Unacademy Plus as well as a plus membership. The benefits of iconic memberships are that a personal mentor as will be assigned to you to help you with your uh, uh, exam preparation throughout the year and there's a new feature that has been uh, made live on an academy learning app on asking it out where you can just click a question highlight the question and send it across and you'll get your solution 24 hours 7 thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next part thank you